to switch the thinking of the industry from cars per man hour to labor percentage. Because I think actually this product was an example of why labor percentage maybe made more sense for our industry. That's an excellent question. You know, the cars man and per man hour really confused us and it got us in trouble. You know, I remember, you know, in, in the guidelines was we had to do three cars per man hour. So if we had a crew of 12 people, we should do 35 to 40 cars. And we used that for a long time. And, and we saw, you know, our labor came in at 50%, 48%. And so I told, I think I had three locations at the time. And I told my managers, I said, and forget the cars, man. Uh, I said, we have to get this labor down to a maximum of 38 to 40%. I said, it, and your, your monthly commissions manager will be based on the labor. I said, now, and don't starve the labor force and go the other way, and instead of 15 employees, you put on six employees, I said, because then we're not gonna wash any cars, and we're certainly not gonna get a clean vehicle. So, we got the labor down with percentages, and the cars per man hour disappeared through the industry because they realized what I realized, that, you know, it's misleading, and it gets you in trouble. And then when you, and then when it's payroll time, and you compute your, your payroll and you put it into the amount of income, and he said, my gosh, you know, the label is 51%, but there's nothing you could do about it. You owe the employee the check. And you're already into four or five days of the next payroll period because it takes you that long and to, and to process the check. And so we went with percentages and we set the thing. And now when I go in to analyze a full service car wash, and the only thing I look at is the percentage of, of the labor, if I think the labor is accurate on their income and expense statement. So I gotta tell you a funny story that I'll bet you don't know. Uh, so I was out installing, I think your third system, and you had concluded that this labor percentage was a more important number than dollars per car. And you had me pinned in your back office, and, and Harvey, I'll bet you know this, you can be a bulldog. And, <laughs> and, and you kept saying, Ken, you, we got to have this labor percentage. Well, it got so late in the evening that I finally said, yeah, we'll do it, not knowing if we could do it or not. <laughs> but I wanted to go back to my hotel room, so were, I finally... You were tired. <laughs> <laughs> you tired me out. But no, that was a good, that was a very important addition and helped a lot of our, our customers in the industry. And today, today the, the full service segment of the industry if they're not watching the percentage of labor, they're, they're really, really in trouble because the cost of labor is going up, especially in states like California. And if they don't watch the percentage of labor, you know, and two things will happen. If they go to sell the car wash, they can't sell it because obviously someone's going to come in there and do their analysis and due diligence and they realize that they, you know, because of the labor and they can't make any money. But the second thing that's going to happen is uh, you're going to get more and more trouble because you can't really raise the price to the consumer today because of the influx of the building of express exterior washes and you already got problems with the new minimum wage and you got problems with Washington wanting to raise the federal minimum wage if you're in a state where the minimum wage is low. And, uh, and car washes that have chain operations with more than two locations uh, have more than 50 full-time employees and the Affordable Health Care Act. Uh, this portion of the Health Care Act is to go in effect now it's been extended a year, but it's still going it's, to, it's planning to go in effect on January 2015. And if you've got two or three car washes and you've got uh, 60 or 70 or 80 or 90 car washes, and then you're going to be faced with, uh, with an insurance uh, issue, which again raises the cost of your labor.